You're not dead. <laughs> Way to stay alive, champ. Well, welcome to the Casa de Timothy. Oh, right, the hand thing. Jack called it his winning hand. All the doppelgangers have one. Had, just me now, the rest are dead. I didn't <laughs> kill them, most of them. I killed a couple. Self-defense, we're gonna go with self-defense. Any who's all this bad boy gives me VIP access all across the casino. Comes in, you know, handy. So before I further endanger myself by even talking to you, who are you working for? Doll, Vladoff, TDR? Are they even still a thing? Actually, Moxie sent me. Wait, sorry, Moxie? <clears throat> Mad Moxie. She's not here, is she? It's fine if she is. I'm not terrified of her at all. I should probably talk to her, though. Yeah, let's talk to her. Let's call her up. Turn on that holo structure, whatever it is, thing. How's my hair? Okay, I got this. Just pour on a little of the old Jack sauce there. Jack always gets what he wants, right? I just gotta be Jack. Maxie. <laughs> cool. Got this. Okay. Hey, uh, Georges. Timothy, been a while. Yeah, that's right, baby. It's <laughs> you remember. Oh, I never forget a face. Especially when it's being worn by a spineless lackey. Tell me why I shouldn't have the Vault Hunter blow your brains out. Well, because I just... Please don't. I'll g give you anything you want. Jack left an open tab with me, and I've sent the Vault Hunter to collect. I want the casino, Timothy. Okay, well, then you also want my brains to stay unblown and in my head and not out. I'm the, I'm the last of the doppelgangers, okay? This winning hand is the only way in or out of Jack's tower. Lucky for you. Then Jack's tab is yours, Timothy, and you can start paying it off right now. Keep an eye on him, Vault Hunter, in case he misbehaves. Oh, thanks! Moxie. Okay, that was a little thing called negotiation. Yeah, you fell apart like a rotten pumpkin. Yeah, Moxie has that effect. I can't believe she remembers me. After Jack got mega rich, he sent me to try to get her back. Took her out to dinner. Best night of my life, actually. And now she'd rather I was dead. Oh, but maybe if I get into that tower, she'll trust me again. So what are we freaking waiting for, kiddo? Let's talk tower. I only need to get one thing out of that tower. Once we get in, you and Moxie can have everything else. What is it you're looking for? I want to get the hell off this freaking casino. For all the perks Jack gave us doppelgangers, he didn't trust us. So we're leashed to Hyperion property. If I step off this casino without getting the override codes, boom, this face gets a lot less handsome. So, recap, bomb in face, codes in tower. All right now, those turrets in front of the tower, they're only the tip of the asshole. You know what, never mind. We're gonna need a whole crew to pull this off. Okay, first up, firepower, and I knew just the girl, Ember. She's a performer in the Vice District. Go convince her to join our crew. Pretty boy has my numbers, so I'll lay low here. Study security, figure out who else we're gonna need to get into that tower, and stay alive, kiddo. Timothy's days of working for Jack might be long gone, but I don't trust him farther than you could throw him. So if he tries anything, Go ahead and see how far that is. Hey, I just want to say thanks again for not shooting me. Every maniac on this casino blames Jack, and thus, me, for the lockdown. Take one look at my face and it's shooty shooty. Got a hand to Jack, though. Found a way to keep screwing me even when he's dead. The doppelgangers, you know, we weren't all bad guys. When the lockdown happened, some of them actually tried to use their winning hands to help out the survivors. You know, get them something to eat. They all got torn to pieces, so I hid, stayed alive.
have both started up these mini casinos a little while after the lockdown. What can I say? People were bored and wanted to keep gambling. My casino is far superior, by the way. To prove it, we're gonna sabotage Leah's casino. First up, I, I know this sounds weird, but I'm gonna need you to go fishing. What do you think might tickle your fancy? Leah sent me. Looking for a hacked slot machine algorithm, shady man. You got what I need? Ah, uh, yes, Leah. You tell her this makes us even. No more favors. Uh, now listen, this thing is only good for a single use, and the effect will self-correct after a little while. Nothing's perfect. 
If anyone asks, you didn't get it from me. Yes! Now install that algorithm on Sandy's mainframe and watch the cash flow. This is gonna be priceless. No, priceful! <laughs> She's not gonna have any more money. That idiot's always losing her keys, so the door to the mainframe console should be open. Idiot. Welcome! Don't move!
your secrets, Crystals. Subway give you access to the entertainment district. Doppelganger 21C identified. Hey there, handsome. Winning hand access granted. All yours. Enjoy the Vice District, kiddo. Oh, and tell Ember I said hi. Oh, and don't get horribly murdered. You, yeah, I'm, I'm talking, talking to you, you get me. You're really racking up the debt. Now, we could still make a deal. Hand over Timothy, and I'll set you up real nice. VIP treatment. Ooh, get free. Otherwise, that price on your head is gonna keep climbing. A lot of poor SOBs out there would love the chance to wipe their debt away with your scalp. So don't be thick. Make a deal. Hurry it up. You could be spending money. Let's go. Don't forget to spend. Vice District, put a cream on whatever's itching you down there.
Pop on, children. I had no clue where Ember's at these days. You're gonna have to ask around. Ember, she's... Well, she's a bit of an old lady. Hit me from the gangs for a little while. I had to leave. Didn't want her paying the price that was on my head. But, but I also maybe didn't tell her I was leaving. Tell her Timothy needs a favor. She tries to light you on fire. Well, <laughs> I guess that's on me. most of the gangs in this casino, unfortunately. But it wasn't always like this. After the lockdown, some people uh, tried to build a society, you know? Live in harmony, all that. They're all dead. Pretty boy, he murdered all of them. The tower gives Pretty Boy access to the casino security, but he wants my winning hand so he can have complete control. Food, oxygen, engines. I mean, if he gets a hold of me, it's gonna be anything but pretty. Chat with this dancer for a moment. Get lost! This dancer's mine! Well, there go my customers, though they were sort of deadbeats. So what are you in the market for, big spender? Do you know where I can find Ember? Ember? Girl's been busy lately, lighting pretty boy's loaders on fire. But Trent might know where she's posting up. The slut said you could point me in Ember's direction. Hold on, sexy. Ember wants to speak to you. Salut, Vault Hunter. At the moment, I am indisposed. Pretty Boy Thugs just moved into the neighborhood, and I have prepared a gift for them. Deliver it for me, and then we speak.
Thanks for playing at the handsome jackpot. You giant dummy. No, I'm serious. Thanks for blowing the kids' college fund. You just give it to me. It's great. Making headlines. Feels so good. Also, I'm dying.
That bastard. I just might dig up Jack's corpse so I can kill him again. Give up! Let's get back in the thick of it.
for sending off those thugs. Uh, now, what has brought your spark to my stage? Not here to fight, for once. Timothy needs your help. Does he now? Pauvre Timothy. Consumed by handsome demons. A prisoner of a mask. I tried to help him forget the past. But what hope does he have with a face like that? Timothy. He was obsessed with getting into that tower of handsome Jacques. When he left, I feared he would have braved the task all along. But now here you are. I suppose he told you I might lend my fiery arts to his cause? Yes. So, will you help us, you fiery goddess? Well, maybe I can. But not without my tools. They were on my ship and she is missing. Pretty boy's doing. Recompense for refusing to hand over Timothy. If you retrieve my tools, I would gladly lend a match to the kindling. First, you must locate my ship. La Femme Brulee is located in the impound lot. Proceed to impound lot to pay fees. The impound lot? Merde. Well, at least she can still be saved. The impound is a dangerous place, Sherry. But what would our journey be if we stayed where it was safe, no? My ship is in the impound lot. Go there. Take this subway to the impound lot. Jacques was alive, this casino attracted gamblers from all over the galaxy. This casino has always been a trap, then and now. Once Jacques was holding all the chips, the casino would take your ship until your debt was paid in full. And one never repays a debt to handsome Jacques. If you do not believe me, just ask Timothy. Now, pretty boy controls the casino from the tower, and he wields the knife of debt just as Jacques once did. An indebted man will do things he would not have thought himself capable of. I have seen it, Shari. Gotta get back on track! Uh, are you real or a demon? Either way, slap me straight, would you kindly? I'm in the fog. Dead drunk! So don't hold back! You sure about this? You have no idea how hard I can punch. Seriously, I don't know how to not punch hard. Can't you hear me, baby? I'm all spirits! On track! Gotta get back on track! We'll have to improvise. Uh, something strong, something alive, and a twist of lime should clear the fog. Oh!
requires a twist of lime and was set. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Vice District, where you'll see the most mind-blowing accent of freaking you. Solar flare. Hold steady, Digby. Hold steady. Uh -huh. You still breathing, Digby? I'd really prefer it if you were still breathing. God damn, god damn. I'm Digby Vermouth, baby. Back on track, thanks to you. You virtuoso instrument, you clear the fog of maestro mixing. That's what you want. Come a little closer, maestro. Eyes are still adjusting to the light. Lucky break, you showing up. You've got a, I don't know, a certain vibe to you. Kind of unpredictable. You and me jam sometime. What do you say, maestro? My baby's gone. That Jupai jump starts a start, maestro. But now my fingers are twitching, and Digby's lips need to taste some tunes. My saxophone Delilah and I've been spreading sweet song across this fair galaxy since I was an itty bitty Digby. Only, she's gone. Can't make music without my Delilah. Help me find her. All I remember before I passed out was my buddy Crad the skis, a puff of smoke, and sloppy dance music. I'm thinking the Vice District. Shame about the casino. For a time, it was jamming. My agent signed me for a three-week gig here on the way to June Pie 7 for Casaban Sunfest. Thing is, before the last show, some vault hunter called curtains on Handsome Jack. Then this old thing became a permanent residency. But I ain't crying. You can make music in a bathroom stall if you're good. And I have. Cause I am. Album was called Love Between the Stalls, yeah. This casino's got a crazy vibe. Produced my first song after the lockdown in the dark. Lockdown loving. Ludus came to the studio, but I played a track and, well, they just put down their guns to listen. By the end of the song, they was all buck naked making whoopee. <laughs> Get up my tram, you poor. Mm -hmm. 
now arriving at the Strip. Get gambling, suckers! All aboard, baby! Hop on, children's! Oh, you wanna get on the choo-choo? Get on the damn train, stupids! Hurry it up, you could be spending money. Let's say it out, baby. <laughs> Talkers, grads talking mimes. 
They've been known to hang out at the tram station from time to time. Wonder what spirit possessed me to hand Delilah to one of them. Now, Delilah ain't no ordinary sax, maestro. Custom made. Positronic gold dip plating. Super luminal lacquer. Micro grab suspension strap. I ain't changed the read in seven years. Hope she's all right. to the Vice District, you broke degenerates. Finally, some freaking action around here. 